Shalom. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, that by honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, Wahawah, Ka, Kwadash, Barak, Thumb to the elect. And, um, you know, a spirit just hit me after watching Apostle, uh, you know, Gabar's lesson. And, you know, just doing a lesson of my own about what he said about how it's a beautiful thing to uh, be called. You know, to be called to do the works of the Heavenly Father. You know? Then he goes on to say, it's one, he goes on to say also, that it's even more beautiful. Like, doing the works of the Lord is great. It's even more beautiful when you're chosen, man. Because the scriptures say many are called, but few are chosen. So that's just step one, you know, to this truth, man. Being called into it. All right? But one thing, he said one thing to know, you know what I'm saying? One thing to help you, you know what I'm saying, in this truth. You know what I'm saying? One thing that the elect would do is give diligence. Okay? So, um, without further ado, get some precepts. I'm going to get on uh, my first precept. is uh, Brothers know it's 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Look that up real quick. Oh no, it's lucky I can't. Alright. Alright, so it says, Wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Actually, let me read up just for our understanding. Second Peter is one and five. And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge, to knowledge temperance and to temperance patience and to patience godliness and to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness charity. For if these things being you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai told, um, I believe it was Peter, he said, if you love me, Peter, do you love me? Then he, he said, if you love me, feed my sheep. And then he said, Peter, he asked him three times, do you love me? And then he said, feed my sheep. So you, you know, us giving diligence, ultimately, that's helping to feed the Lord's sheep. Okay. Ultimately, that's helping to give, uh, feed the Lord, get, uh, feed the Lord's sheep. And there's many ways you can uh, be diligent, man. You can fast, you can pray. All right. That's giving diligence, helping brother, helping uh, charity towards the brotherhood. That's helping to feed the Lord's sheep. Because you fasting and praying is helping you remain in the spirit so that you can continue to feed the Lord's sheep. All right? So that when the Lord calls, you answer. You know? And, you know, just as I, as I was reading, I was just thinking too of, you know, it says, into godliness, brotherly kindness, and brotherly kindness, charity, um, knowledge, temperance, but all these things, you don't get them overnight, man. It takes time. So what? You have to be diligent. You know what I'm saying? And all of that, man. Okay? And, um, you know, if you are to like, the Lord is going to put you through things. You know? I noticed that because um, even Paul, you know, when we go to, well, when I could find it. Um... I didn't get that one and put that in my notes. Let me see. Watching's often. You know, a good example of that is the Apostle Paul. You know, uh, Second Corinth. Well, a better, even better example than that, of course, is our our Savior Yahusha, man. You know, he gave diligence from the beginning, man, from the time he was twelve until his, his um to the time he uh you know was put on the cross. All right. His his uh, mind state was I'm about my father's business. I'm about my father's business. It was it was uh, a constant. You know. This is uh 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23. Are they ministers of Yahweh Shai? I speak as a fool. I am more in laborers more abundant in stripes above measure in prisons more frequent in deaths often. Of the Jews five times received I forty stripes save one. 
Thrice was I beaten with rods. Once was I stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck a night and a day. I have been in the deep. So if you're going through all of this, your mind state has to be of the same of Yahweh Shai, man. You know, because you're going to lose hope. You're going to lose your vision, man. All right. So if your mind state stays the same, therefore, you know what I'm saying? Giving diligence, you know, constantly praying. Because when you catch hell, it, 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 it draws you closer to the Heavenly Father. And, and the Most High wants that, you know. The scriptures say, when has the uh, righteous uh, been removed, man? Roughly paraphrasing, you know. It says, and journeyings, often in perils of water, and perils of robbers, and perils by my own countrymen, and perils by the heathen, and perils in the city, and perils in the wilderness, and perils in the sea, and perils amongst false brethren. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? Us being in this truth, we, um you know, go through a lot of the stuff Paul went through, man. You know, so like the scriptures say, that uh, no, no temptation taken thee, such as common to man. But the Most High is able to uh, get you out of it. You know? The Most High is able to get you out of it, man. Well, when I could find that real quick. Is it, uh, was it 1 Corinthians 10? No, 10, I think. Yeah, I think it's in 1 Corinthians 10. 10 and 13. They have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but with, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. So, you know, Paul was a strong man. Paul was a very strong man. You know, for him to go through all of that and still continue to push. All right. This is back at 2 Corinthians 11 and uh, 26. And journeys often in perils of water and perils of robber. And perils by my own countrymen, and perils by the heathen, and perils in the city, and perils in the wilderness, and perils in the sea, and perils amongst false brethren. And also, just to um, add, uh, came to me through the spirit of even the Lord said in Hebrews, the 12th chapter, that if any man, you know what I'm saying, the most high, whom the most high love him, he chasteneth, man. All right, if he don't chasten you, you're a bastard, man. You know? But, as the scripture also, I just read, you know, he's going to make a way for you to escape, man, if you are the elect. You know? This is but besides those things. Oh, uh, Slock, I skipped 27. And, weary, and weariness and painfulness and watchings often and hunger and thirst and fastings often and cold and nakedness. Besides those things that are without that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. Who is weak and I am not weak. Who is offended and I burnt not. If I money needs glory, glory, I will glory of the things which concern my infirmities. So, the Most High had the spirit on um, Apostle Paul to, uh, you know what I'm saying, continue in the work, man. Give diligence, man. All right? And then what did that, you know what I'm saying, uh, what did that in turn do for Apostle Paul, man? Let me get this. This is 2 Timothy's chapter 4, verse 5. But watch thou in all things, endure affliction, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. So giving diligence is ultimately making full proof of your, of your own ministry. Like the Lord said in Revelations, all right, he that keeps my works to the end, to him, uh, the same shall be saved, man. For I am now ready to be offered and the time of my departure is at hand. Okay, because you got to even give diligence at the, at the very end, man. When you might be feeling like you're at your weakest point, man. You know, give diligence always, man. For I am now ready to be offered. So after Paul did that, he said he was now ready to be offered and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. So that there, there you go, man. There, uh, that's what diligence gets you, man. You know? And even through all of that, man, we can never go far enough. Because even in Romans 8, it tells us that, you know, you know, it's, it's uh, Romans 8 tells us 
Just grab it. This is a light affliction. You know, so we not even going through nothing, man. Romans 8 and 18, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Okay. So guess what, man? You just give diligence, man. Keep giving diligence. You know, because for one, if you don't, the most high is going to destroy you. And for two, if you do, you're going to get, man, the scripture even said if you lose, uh, you know, woman or, or kids, you're going to get a hundredfold. So that's just, you know what I'm saying? The most high, Yahweh Shai giving you a little tidbit of the kingdom. So, hey, man, like the apostle said, man, you know, to the calling and to the hopeful chosen, give diligence, man, so that you can make your calling and election sure. Shalom.